in today's banger video we are gonna try to beat minecraft but there are custom villagers these custom villagers trade different and op items with different and insanely op and powerful enchantments that can make us op and also help us to destroy the ender dragon so guys watch the whole video until the end to find out if i could beat the ender dragon or not and of course all the op items armors and tools and of course while you guys are here while you guys are at it make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell time to become op and of talk sit back relax let's head right into the video hope you guys enjoy the video here we go we have spawned in plains biome but unfortunately not in a village well that's totally fine because we can find a village as soon as possible or we might just find it right away at the spawn who knows i mean the chances of finding a village in plains biome is kind of high and also in savannah biome and the reason why i'm so desperate to finding a village is because we have to get emeralds and village is the easiest way to get emeralds by the villagers inside the village well we can just get cheap emeralds from the mason the guy the villager who has the job of mason with stone cutter who trades clay balls for emeralds yeah that guy is amazing and probably our first goal might be to trade with the villagers to get emeralds we have to get tons of emeralds so you know what let's straight away right off the bat try to find a village two hours later oh there we go we found it we found a village so now this village is absolutely gonna be helpful because not only we are gonna be getting a lot of food we are also gonna be getting bread right and that is one of the items that can be used to craft a custom villager and the iron from the iron golem is also one of the items to craft one of the custom villagers there is a lot of things we can get from this village so first of all before i do anything stupid let me just start with the basics first so let's start working let's get some wood a crafting table some sticks a garbage wooden pickaxe now time to get some cobblestones with the garbage wooden pickaxe to craft the super slow stone tools and the two furnaces as well now there's the iron golem right there so let's just go ahead and kill this guy real quick and boom there we go how many was that two three are you kidding me that's not enough okay but whatever it's fine let me just go ahead and start smelting three of these cobblestones now guys again while it's smelting why don't you guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell we got three stones done now all we need to do is craft a stone cutter there we go we got it can one of you stupid and dumb and ugly villagers take the job please a few moments later oh there we go finally who uh, oh there we go yes mason one emerald for 10 clay balls we are about to go clay ball hunting but first of all before i do that let me just go ahead and get all the food all the hay bales from the village now that's a lot of juicy breads right there i will gladly take it we have two stacks and four breads okay cool anyways now's the time to get a lot of emeralds and before that let's get a ton of clay balls oh i'm pretty sure the villager is gonna be extremely happy when i trade with him where's the mason oh there he is he's just ta talking to a kid what is wrong with you don't talk to that guy talk to me i'm gonna make you rich not him now just give me as many as emeralds you can okay look at how many we have already 16 can you please restock again yeah there we go you have restocked and look at dude i have half a stack of emeralds there we go now i want you to restock again i need a lot more emeralds that's probably not enough but you know what let's see if this is enough so now for the first custom villager we need some planks like eight of them and one emerald so yeah we do have everything so inside the crafting table if i place eight of these planks just like that just like a shape of a chest there we go and one emerald in the middle there it is knowledge book when we click it we get a custom villager which is called an emerald villager wait what he's like dressed up like a mason i don't know let's see what he trades and he, he gives nothing but emeralds but we don't really have any coal right now i don't really need any more emeralds because 
we have so many right now. And now, as we have so many more emeralds, let's just go ahead and craft the next custom villager as well. But before that, let me get more wood. Now again, inside the crafting table, if I place all of these eight oak planks just like that and one iron in the middle, there we go. Knowledge book. When we click it, we get, what is this? Armor villager. Okay. Now, what do you trade, buddy? Do you trade something good of course it's good oh my gosh look at the enchantments of this guy i mean it's kind of good i guess golden boots with soul speed enchantment 20 that's not even necessary feather falling five and fire protection for six six not four that's pretty good you know what i will gladly take that and what is protection 10 dude i am not even gonna see the enchantments on these things look at those okay protection level 10 enchantments give me all of them thank you very much that was really helpful i will gladly wear them right now and now you know what it's time for me to craft the next custom villager as well we have everything all we need to do is we ha already have all the planks we need so we just have to place all these eight planks just like that and one stone pickaxe in the middle there it is knowledge book when we click it we get tools villager this time okay cool what do you trade now oh my goodness i should have just guessed it honestly like tools tools make sense and uh yeah, the enchantments on this thing is just too broken. It doesn't have sharpness or looting. What the heck? It's not that useful, but I will take it. Oh, sharpness 10 on this. Th okay, cool. That makes sense. And this pickaxe is, yeah, it's broken. Let me get that real quick. And let me get that as well. Just why not? Okay, let me get that OP netherite bow as well. Efficiency enchantment level 100 and 1400 on breaking three. Holy crap, that's insane. All right. Well, I got everything from this tools and the armor villagers. Now, it's time for us to move on to the next one. And that is going to be with the food this time, with the bread. So, if I place one bread in the middle, there we go. Knowledge book, when we click it, we get food villager. Yes, I guessed it. I knew it. And now, what do you trade, buddy? Oh, my goodness. Golden carrots. You know what? I will just carry, like, what? Uh, two stacks, I guess? Yep, that's enough. All right, well, it was good doing business with you guys i guess yeah well that was actually fun i'm not gonna lie we do have some more spare emeralds left i am gonna hold on to them i have more clay balls you know what let me get more emeralds i guess because i need more emeralds there we go he has restocked and there it is yep that's more than enough let's get out of here and now for the next and the last custom villager we have to get one diamond and a few more iron so let me just go ahead and find a cave actually you know what what? This, is this a cave? Oh, yes, this is. Okay, that is more convenient. There's iron right there. Perfect. Dude, I took so less damage as soon as I fell from over there, from that height. Are you kidding me? Okay, this is about to get more fun. This is already so fun. Look at how fast I mined. And we just got so many tons of iron. 14. Yep, that's enough. We just have to find some diamonds. That's it. Oh, and there's coal right there. Let me grab that to smelt all the iron. Oh, there we go. We found it. We found some diamonds i don't really know how many is that i don't really care because all, all i need is one and how many did we, we got we got guys we got six that's a lot that's amazing now first of all let's just go ahead and start smelting all the iron we have look at how many coals we have and guys you know what while all these irons are smelting why don't you guys hit the like and subscribe button and the notification bell like right now just do it and there we go we have perfectly i mean that's actually more than enough we just needed eight but we have nine so now inside the crafting table if i place eight of these irons just like that and one diamond in the middle there it is knowledge book when we click it we get the custom villager and that is an op villager that sounds amazing cool let's see what he trades what do you trade buddy buddy okay dude cool cool let me get a stack of totem of undying thank you very much i guess all right well hold on calm down that's not it we can also get a maxed out bow more fireworks elytra that's pretty cool i'll get that actually and also thanks for the bow that is an op bow bro that's amazing oh i can straight up just buy emerald blocks you gotta be kidding me bro that's it we are done give me that as well i guess well yeah i am done i've had enough we have everything we need to 
destroy the ender dragon like it's nothing actually we have so many lives we, do we don't have anything to worry about you know what let's do that let's defeat the ender dragon before that we first have to get inside the nether and get all the stuff we need so first of all let me make a bucket and there's gravel right there let me just mine this one block oh it has silk dust i forgot about that what what about the pickaxe there we go we got it we got the flint first try with the pickaxe and we got the flint and steel as well now all we need to do is we just have to find the lava pool and boom there we go we found it we found the lava pool well we got all the obsidians we need to create our own portal from this lava pool so you know what let's do that let's create our own portal to the nether Boom! They, come on, what the heck is going on? These bats are so annoying and the skeleton. The portal is done. Let's light it up. And now it's time for us to get inside the nether. And here we are. We are inside the nether and we are in nether race. Now we either have to find a warped forest or a nether fortress. So let's see what we find first. Oh, there we go. We found it. We found a nether fortress. And here we are. We are inside the nether fortress as well. Now we just have to find the blaze spawner. And there it is we found it we found the blaze spawner man i wish i had looting on any of my weapons or tools but whatever it's fine it's time for us to kill some blazes for blaze wads yeah so we do have all the blaze wads we need we have 16 and i don't think i can be killed look at all these blazes trying to kill me they can do no damage to me are you kidding me yo this is just too op let me break that real quick and let me get the heck out of here i'm done now all that is left for us to do is try to find a warped forest Oh, and there we go. We found it. We found the barbed forest. Oh, and there's an enderman right there. Now, of course, it's time for us to kill some endermans for ender pearls. <laughs> Yup, let's get out of here. We got everything we need. We have a stack and seven ender pearls. Let's make or create our own portal to the ore world. Boom, there we go. The portal is done. Let's light it up. And now it's time for us to return to the ore world. And here we are. We are back in the ore world. And now we just have to find the stronghold. Oh, and before that, we are here inside a cave. I don't really like that. So you know what? Let me just get back to the surface real quick. And here we are up in the surface. And we are in one of the worst biome ever. I don't want to be here. First of all, as always, let's just go ahead and turn all the blaze rods into place blaze powders and the blaze powders and the ender pearls into eyes of ender there we go 23 that's amazing we can get more but now it's time for us to find the stronghold let's see where the eyes of ender goes it goes backwards that direction okay let's go now let's go ahead and find the stronghold one eternity later oh there we go it goes down it goes straight down right over here or it's, it's right below us let's just go ahead and dig straight down until we find the stronghold i don't even care about the eye of ender because we have have 15 right now and there we go here we are inside the stronghold now we just have to find the portal room oh there we go we found it we found the stronghold portal room and there's already one eye offender in here in the portal so you know what let's just go ahead and fill the portal up real quick and boom there we go the portal is done it's lit oh well, hello there we have respawn point i didn't even i didn't even know i had a bed anyways there we go the respawn point is set and we are done we are looking good right now let's get inside the end and defeat the ender dragon once and for all we are completely prepared we have everything we can do this let's do this let's go and here we are we are inside the end and there's the ender dragon bar we are in the middle and there's the ender dragon right there okay it's time for us to take down all the crystals. this is gonna be so fun and so easy and there it is we did it we beat all the end crystals i mean we took it down now all that is left is for the ender dragon to purge so come on ender dragon purge right now i am done actually you know what let me see how much damage my boat does oh there we go you're purging as well oh i i do a lot of damage okay cool i'll take it now let's see how much sharpness 10 diamond axe does oh that's a lot of damage 
That is amazing damage right there. I will take it. Oh, dude, I am not gonna lie. My bow is more than enough to deal a lot of damage to you. Look at that damage. It's already halfway dead. Are you kidding me? Come on. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, come on, Ender Dragon. Perts right now. And there we go. Ender Dragon is perting. And now let's deal as much as damage as we can. And you're almost it. No, don't. Okay, you know what? That is totally fine. One more bow shot and you're dead. Look at its health. You know what? I have an idea. I won't even deal damage to you. My thorns is gonna be more than enough to kill you. Look at that. A bit more damage. This just hit me, bro. There we go. I didn't even touch it. It died on its own. That is so embarrassing for the Ender Dragon. Well, that was one way to kill the Ender Dragon with thorns. Yep, that's the most weirdest way to kill the Ender Dragon I've ever seen seen holy crap that was actually kind of good i'm not gonna lie well there's the dragon egg right there and boom there we go we got the dragon egg as well if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell check out the data pack right now the link is down in the description you guys can also have fun just like me yo enderman you don't want this trust me you, you really want to fight me okay have it your own way holy crap you're actually dealing so much damage bro can you please check Chill out. What is, what is wrong with you? What did I even do to you? Whatever. You died anyway. That Enderman was so weak. And so was the Ender Dragon. But anyways, guys. I'm gonna end this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next video. But until then, have a great day. See ya. Bye.